And let's talk about the, uh, the CFO and CEO of Uber and how the CFO is stepping down as well as DK is withdrawing some of his shares. Yeah, first time in about four years, he's selling, he sold 100,000 shares at 45 bucks. He had bought them at $26.73. Um, you know, look, if this was any other company and the CF CEO is selling stock and CFO is quitting, I go, this stock is going to get hammered because CFOs <laughs> don't just pack up and quit. And CEO's the insider. I mean, he's an insider. He knows exactly what's happening. He sold 100,000 shares. And um, so to me, it's not that big of a deal. His total holdings are more than that. Um, but, you know, nothing happened to the stock. Stock in tech went higher, another 5% this week. Um, earnings are on August 1. Um, you know, Wall Street doesn't care. When Wall Street hates you, they hate you. When Wall Street loves you, they love you. If Again, Chris, as my experience over the last 30 years of trading mm -hmm. stock, if both news came out the same day, any stock the next day would have gone down 25%. Because a CFO of a company with nothing being wrong, quitting and saying, bye, see you, after being there for five years, CFO, that's chief financial officer. That's the guy with the books. Okay? So... No smoke, no fire. Nothing happened to the stock. I'm just letting you guys know. Um, is it a coincidence? We'll find out. Earnings are coming out August 1. So, yeah, there you go. So I don't know if you want and to... And this is Nelson Chai, the CFO, who has been there uh, for the last five years. You know, he actually did a couple of good things. He caught a lot of costs. You know, he managed the company well through a pandemic as well. And on the right screenshot, you know, it's kind of small, but you guys can see that's Uber's losses <laughs> since the inception. <laughs> so the lower bar, the lower the bar. No, that's, the that's, the bar. that's not since inception. That's only for the last three years. Uh, three years, but I'm saying like this, this show. But it's always been of, like that. Yeah, people saying, oh, why isn't Uber making money? I mean, look, either they're lying. I mean, I don't know what to tell you people. Either they're lying or this is true. So. Now, CFO knows those numbers, so you guys can say, yeah, they're making so much money. Well, obviously they're not, but and FYI, this was the first week since their IPO that stock price closed above the IPO price of 45. They came public in October of 2019. We're in 2023. For four years, it has been a shit investment, and now it's above the IPO price. So, Well, that's if you know. invested right at the beginning, but if you invested when it was at its lowest... Yeah, well, well yeah. you made a little bit of money there. So oh, absolutely, yeah, yeah. It was twenty bucks about six months ago. You know, or not? Yep. You know what it was? You know when it was at its lowest, Chris? It was at its lowest when upfront fares started coming in. Yeah, and yeah, I know this before. clearly because I, I did a couple of consulting calls with a couple of hedge funds. I go, it's just screaming by this upfront fares. They're going to make boatload of money, and I can say that now because it's six months, eight months ago. And sure enough, since upfront fares stock goes from twenty to forty-seven. Their take rate goes from eight nine percent to twenty nine percent. It's working. Mm -hmm. And then all the shaving on top of it. Yeah, we're that, gonna be that's... here to make sure that that doesn't happen. I don't know what to do with that, but we're going to figure that out anyway. All right, so. yeah, and it's gonna. I mean, a couple of weeks away from the earnings, uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. But uh, I want to know your early prediction for Uber. What is your early prediction um, or your main takeaway for prediction? Uh, really I, think, I, I think they're, they're still last two quarters were bang up quarters. They're hitting on all cylinders. All parts of their business is growing. But I'm telling you this, Lyft is competing hard. Um, Uber Eats is slowing down for sure. It's like yeah, there's no growth if at all, maybe single digit growth. Um, um, but yeah, the company is doing fine. And why the CFO is leaving? I don't know. He said he, he just said, you know, I did my share. You know, Sayonara, I'm sure they're going to come up with somebody else for the next phase of the company, which may be just profitability now, right? Actual profitability. So yep. um, I think yeah, Uber is going to be actually profitable by the end of the year. So if everything. Yeah, I think, I think they're going to, I think they're still going to narrow the gap um, very closely. Uh, I think they're going to be very close, uh, not necessarily profitable just yet, but I yeah. think, yeah, definitely by for Q3 or Q4. They're definitely going to hit that profitable range, yep. um, and I think it's going to be more so probably towards the end of the year, only because um, you know right now it's most of the most of the slowdown is happening. So yeah, you said it. Uber Eats is slower. 
Uh, ride share is slower for a lot of people. Um, it's beginning to pick up here and there at places, uh, but not overall. Uh, pretty yeah. soon it'll start picking up. And then when you start going into the holidays, back in the winter, uh, things get in the swing of it. Uh, that's when you're going to start seeing things, I think, pick up again, where uh, it's going to be, you know, a little bit more shaving that they could get on, uh, which could close that gap and turn into profitability. So it'll be an interesting uh, earnings call, though. I'll be looking forward to that one. Same yeah. thing with uh, lifts. Uh, I, I think lift trying. has a little bit further to go, but uh, I think it's going to be a lot better, especially with all those uh, layoffs. Yeah, lift is on the 8th and Uber is on the 1st. Yep. So Tuesday, Tuesday um obviously on the first um uh, we'll have the numbers you know we'll talk about the earnings but uh, there you go all right thanks for watching that short little clip was from our live stream show me the money club with sergio and myself tuesdays 6 p.m eastern 3 p.m pacific make sure you subscribe turn on all notifications so you'll be notified when we go live as well as all of our awesome content Make sure to check out this video right here, which will take you to the entire live stream, or check out this video right there. All right, drive smart, everyone.